What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Gerald from Bank of Gerald here with another video update. Today is February the 1st, 2022 on a Tuesday morning. Actually, it's afternoon now. And we're going to talk about a hype. That's right. A hype. Another hype on the docket that we have, and it's called Blazer 7. That's right, Blazer 7. Before we get started in Blazer 7, I want to remind everybody that I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice, and I'm not your financial advisor. I'm just a dude on YouTube that's showing you guys how I'm cranking out that crypto in many different platforms. Nothing more and nothing less. And with that being said, we're going to share our screen and talk about Blazer 7. But before we do that, if you like this content, hit subscribe, all right? And if you want to be notified about everything going on here at BOJ, hit the notification bell as well. Let's get into the back office of Blazer 7, guys. We've got, I don't even know what happened. Somebody put in a lot of Ethereum. <laughs> and we've got some referral commissions to pull out. But before we do that, we want to get into what Blazer 7 is for those of you that don't know. It is a hype. It is a here today, could be here today, gone tomorrow type of situation. But while it's here, it does not mean that we can't earn an income. It means we can earn a profit. It's been around 12 days so far. So for those of you that have been around since day zero and one, like I have, you've been experienced pulling out from this platform pretty uh, efficiently, right? It's got almost 1,200 members, $167,000 in, $64,000 out, three plans, um, starting at $20, the 5% plan, starting at 3,000, the 6%, starting at 10,000, the 7% plan here. And we're going to go ahead and see what the, well, they have an affiliate program, 5% on the first level, 2% on the second, 1% on the third. They take Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, Perfect Money, Ripple, Doge, Tethers, Tron, Stellar, and Binance Coin. And with that being said, we're going to get to the dashboard and get into this withdrawal. We've got a good amount to withdraw. We're going to start with the Hefty Boy. Let's see if there's any withdrawal uh, caps on this 605.52. Seems to be letting me go through it so far. And it says it's been saved. Now, one way we can see if that has gone through is if we go to transactions and we go to withdraw. As you can see, the withdrawal request is still there. But the Ethereum I took out just yesterday came through in batch ID formation. It did go into saved first, but it came through. So we'll be waiting on this as well. It might be a, a manual, but let's go and check out the rest of them, all right? We got 109 in Bitcoin, 109.81. So let's see if we can get a batch ID for this. 109.81, that's what it is. All right, going to confirm. Let's see what we get. Boom, we got a batch ID. That's one for two. That's 50. That's betting 500. That ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. Let's go back to withdrawal because we got some other stuff to pull out. Now, we got some Ripple. I haven't set up the wallet yet, so we'll wait on that. We've got some, what else do we have? We got some Litecoin. There we go, 2682. Let's get out this Litecoin. Let's see what we get here. And the Litecoin went in the save. All right, so we're one for three, batting 300 or three. Three three. Let's try this Dogecoin. We got twenty one seventy in Dogecoin. See if we can't take this Dogecoin out. Will we get a batch ID for Dogecoin? Up, oh, I hit it twice. <laughs> Dang on it. So let's go to <laughs> let's go to transactions and let's see what we've got in batch ID for. In the withdrawals. Let's see. So we've got a batch ID for just the Bitcoin so far. Not the Ethereum, not the Litecoin, not the Doge. So what I want to do right now is I want to go and I want to check in the Telegram group. And it seems to me that the Telegram group is still open. All right. Um, it's last update was don't with, don't deposit on Telegram. Deposit through the platform. But the web the 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 uh, what's it called? Telegram group is still open, so you guys can check that out. The links of those are on the home page, I believe. I believe they're on the home page. If you click contact at the bottom, it just shows that. So where's the telegram? There we go. I, my face was hiding it, so it's up here at the top. If you click on that, it'll take you to the telegram group. 
Um, and for this ripple, I want to try something really quickly because on other platforms, I have tried to put in a ripple address and it has prompted me to do it in this way. So I'm going to do it for you guys that are still watching. And if it works for me, then hopefully it'll work for you. So everyone knows that XRP has an address and then it has a, well, usually it has an address and then it has something else with it. But now I'm looking at my Exodus and all that it's giving me is just one single address. So I'm going to take this one single address. And I'm going to put it in here and see if I'm able to update it. I'm going to put in my 2FA code for Blazor 7. And it says invalid account format. So I'm going to go to my other wallet. I have an uphold wallet that I'm going to try to add later. But I want to demonstrate what it could look like for you. So when you have the two different, I think it's like a destination address as well for the Ripple. It'll have one code. And then you want to put, a, you want to put that uh, colon there. Does everybody see that? You put that, and then you put whatever digits come after that. I just put random digits, but that's the way that I have been able to add Ripple addresses before. Um, so if that's what you're getting, if you're getting two different codes on your Ripple address, your XRP address, then use it like that. Do the first code, put a colon, then put the rest of the code, um, and it should work that way. Uh, I'm going to do mine's off camera just so I can have some time to figure it out. But... um. With that being said, we're going to be waiting for some of these withdrawals to happen from Blazor 7. We've got some pending requests. We did receive a batch ID for the Bitcoin, though, so that was pretty cool. But that's only batting one for four today, and we want to see the rest of those come through. Of course, when they come through, it does show the batch ID in the back office, so we will easily be able to go straight to our transactions history, and we'll be able to see that it came through with batch id formation all right with that being said please put your 2fa on all the platforms that will allow you and all your wallets because crypto is the wild wild west if you ain't strapped you're bound to get hacked ask me how i know it's not very fun at all if you like this content hit subscribe and if you want to be notified about everything going on hit the notification bell as well this is blazer 7 and i will see y'all on the next one peace out